Hello, hello, beautiful friends. Cryptid Princess here, and welcome back to Sally Face. Let us go into Larry's place. It's weird to be leaving after living here for so long. I felt that way when we left New Jersey, but it was a change I didn't know I needed at the time, so I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. I can't wait for that, honestly. Still. And I know I'm not going, going far, but it's still a little sad for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. You okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's just keep looking around. Aww. Aw, oh, good old Larry's room. Stereo. Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were headbanging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face. You were so worried about my bloody nose that you didn't even notice at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but then once I told you I was fine, why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. Oh, <laughs> That's so sad. I forgot his face is like really really mutilated and so it's like what oh I thought I saw question marks um, it's really sad because he's like his mask comes off and then like it's like why'd you cry because you didn't look away and it's like oh like little baby little baby Sal poor thing all right let's keep looking Lisa's old room. There's just the mattress in here. All right. Let us. No, actually, let's go back in and then go outside, and then go to his treehouse. Wait, which we have to go through his room? Nope, that is not his room. That is the bathroom. We have to go through his room, and then go out. That was a good time, though. That was a good time. Oof. Throwback. Get to this treehouse. Keep yawning, God. I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It doesn't feel real. I, uh, I don't. I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're horrible at keeping secrets. Dot dot dot. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before because I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to, right? No. We t Okay, no. You don't lie to your best friend slash soon-to-be stepbrother. Okay? You tell him the truth. Look, it's been hard keeping this from you, but I couldn't be sure what was real and what wasn't. I didn't want to upset you, but I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. What? I'm not sure if it's really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not to tell you about him. He says that if you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. Dot dot dot. If it's your father, then I... Well, I don't think that he's 100% human. But the important thing is he didn't abandon you. He sacrificed himself to try and stop the cult, to protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What do you mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but I think your dad was an alien or something. He crash landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. He was with his sister Evelyn, but she died in the crash or got lost or something. He wasn't really clear about what happened to her. Aren't you going to say anything at all about this? You know, you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad into a hero. And aliens, really? Dude, that didn't help your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry, I swear. Alright, dude, it's fine. Can we just drop this for now? Okay, but we're going to talk about this more later. I'm not making this up. Okay, maybe the truth was a little, uh... Yeah. All right, there's no ghosty goose. It seems. I have all these teeth though. Oh, I have one. Oh, I have one tooth. Okay, so I need the fifth one. So I need to actually legitimately find the fifth one. Okay. But it's a weird angle. Is there a tooth anywhere? Did you ever tape that new Sanity, Sanity's Fall song? Yeah, man, you wanna hear it? Yes. Oh, no headbanging? I thought we would start headbanging. I would have been fine with headbanging, but okay, I guess not. I thought I saw... No, it's not a tooth, okay. We need that tooth. Give me the tooth. Give it to me. So I'm missing a tooth. 
which could really be anywhere at this point. Okay, you don't have the key, I know. Yeah. I just need a tooth, guys. Can you just give me a tooth? Is that so hard? Just give me the damn tooth. Give it to me. I hate this crooked angle when you go into this room. It's terrifying. If demons are real and souls are real, do you think there are angels too? And heaven and hell? God and the devil? Is all of it real? Yeah. I go back and forth on it all, but I hope there's something good out there. Something better than us. I never used to believe in anything supernatural before. Now, with everything we've seen, I'm not sure what I believe in. I've always had the feeling that there's something bigger going on. I just never really knew what it was or what that meant. I still don't. That's fair. It's it's a very... I don't know. It's a topic that's like... It's really... I need to stop yawning. Why do I keep yawning? It's just like a topic... I don't know. It's a weird topic. I don't mind it, but it's just like... You never really know. There's no- there's nothing concrete. Oh, I need to find a screwdriver. The tooth's probably in there. I swear to god, that tooth is- Okay, so I need to find a screwdriver. Uh, dang it. There's the tooth! God! What? No stupid pun this time? I couldn't really think of any to tell you the tooth. Alright, so I have all the teeth. One, two, three, four, five. This is really weird. Oh, I have a pocket knife. I can open the stupid birdcage. Duh. Duh. Why did I think of that? Because I'm not smart. That's why. Great, now where was this birdcage? Was it in here? I don't actually remember where the birdcage was. Yes, it was. Okay. Yes. There we go. Oh. North. Never eat soggy waffles. No? It's upside down! It's upside down! It's upside down! It's upside down! Which means south would be here, north, uh, never eat waff, soggy waff. There we go. Yeah! Whoa. I think I found that key you lost. I didn't lose it, I just- Wait, where the hell did that thing even come from? I didn't put it in there. Someone wanted us to find this. They couldn't have just, like, slipped it under my door or put it in my mailbox or something. Excuse me. Reality's a tangled web. Uh, what? Never mind, we've got the key now. Let's go check out the temple. <laughs> she gonna unlock teeth. That's always great. To the basement we go! Wait, was it the basement? Yes, it was the basement. I genuinely could not remember. But it was the basement. In this bed? No. In this bedroom? Yes. Alright, let's go, buddy. This is how we do it. Mm, nope, this is not how we do it. hours later. It took us two hours to get down there? Everything seems normal here, Larry. Well, normal for Addison Apartments, at least. What about all those teeth and the glowing birdcage thing and the key? I guess that was a little odd. This feeling won't go away, either. Something bad is coming, dude. I don't know what or when, but I can feel it. 
You may be right. I'll fill Todd in when he's home and we can come over later tonight with the gadgets. Okay, when is he out of class? He should be out by now, but I'm supposed to meet with, up with Ash, remember? Oh, right, you should bring her along. I think we should go easy on her for now with the paranormal stuff. That's true. Last time she tagged along, things didn't go too well. Man, that was like a year ago now. Seems like every year just goes by faster and faster. They definitely do. Also, don't forget we're all getting together for dinner tomorrow night. Heh, how can I forget between you and Ash? I've got about a thousand texts about it. Dang. Hey, Ashley. Sal! Oh, that's cute. I'm so excited to see you. I've missed you so much. I, uh, I missed you too, Ash. You cut your hair. I like it. Thanks. It's easier for riding. I see you've changed your hair as well. Oh yeah, I guess. Looks rad. Though I do kind of miss the pigtails. Heh. <laughs> That's cute. Oh yeah. I haven't been out to the lake since the last time we were there together. What's that? I said it's been a long time since I've been to the lake. Me too. It's so nice out there. Peaceful. Me. Aww. It was cute. So, you and Ben all good now? Yeah, we're good. What was that all about, anyway? Stupid sibling stuff. He called me soulless because I didn't cry at Grandma's funeral. He said I wasn't human because I never cry and blah blah blah. Then it turned to a big argument, as if I wasn't sad enough about Grandma. Anyway, the point is that we made up and we're okay now. You know, now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Well, I must be some kind of soulless monster. Grr. -ah. You better watch out. We kill monsters like you around these parts. No, you better watch out. This ain't no monster y'all want to be messing with. Them is fighting words, Missy. I hope you kissed your mama goodbye this morning. Haha. <laughs> How have you been, Sally Face? I want to be honest. I've been having nightmares. I'm sorry. Are they as bad as before? They're different. It's hard to explain. I've been losing a lot of sleep because of it. Are you worried about anything? Sometimes if I'm worried about something or just struggling with something difficult, I'll get nightmares from that. I've had this overwhelming sense of dread lately. It doesn't make any sense because everything is fine. Everything should be good. Have you been taking those meds? Uh, yeah. Well, most of the time. You should take them if they help. I have a cousin that struggles with depression too and she said the meds she takes helps her a lot. I guess they do help, but they also make me feel numb inside. At least with the dread, I know it's real. Or at least really me. I think I can understand that. I just want you to be happy, Sal. You better make sure you call me if you ever need help. Or even if you just need to talk, you know? You know I'm always there for you, right? I know. Thanks, Ash. And I've said this before, but you know you don't have to wear that around me. My face? Your mask. But it's like a part of me now. It's the face I wear in public. The face I wear all the time. I just want you to know that you don't have to wear it. If you don't want to. It's just you and me out here. No one else is around. How have you been? I've been okay, you know, but I'm starting to feel better now that I'm out of the city. I thought you liked the city. I love the city. It's great and there are always cool things happening. I just don't love living there. It's so noise noisy all the time and so crowded. You can't hear yourself think sometimes. I could see that. That is very true. The longer you spend there, it starts feeling like you're losing your connection to nature. As weird as it sounds, I've been missing Knockfell. I've missed the fresh air, the nature. I miss seeing the stars at night and being able to hang out with my friends. We've missed you too, Ash. Though, I don't think we'll be seeing any stars tonight, not with the storm rolling in. I noticed that. Looks like we may get rained on. What about art school? I think I'm going to take some time off from school. I'm feeling pretty burned out. Do you think you'll go back? Probably. I just need to figure some things out first. I might take a few classes at the community college while I'm getting my shit together. Oh, that'd be cool. Larry's also thinking about going. He mentioned that. I was surprised. I didn't think he'd, be go he'd go the college route. Me neither. Could be like old times again. The whole crew back in school. Are you happy? Happy with what? Everything. Life. I don't know. That's a hard question. Even though I've had a hard time lately, I try to find things that make me happy. Things that are worth pursuing. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah. I'm happy right now. Are you sure you're okay, Sal? I'm getting a little worried about you. I don't know. I guess I'm feeling off. It just feels like everything is wrong. What do you mean? It feels like nothing puts me at ease. It's the constant feeling of discomfort like my soul isn't aligned with my body. I just feel like screaming at the sky until it breaks apart. Well? Well, what? Let's do it. I don't know. Come on, I bet you feel better. Ah! Okay. I was not expecting that. What's up, Todd? Hey, Todd. Hey, you're back from your date with Ashley already? I don't think it was a date, but yeah. 
Whatever you say, Sal. How'd it go? It was nice seeing her. It's gonna be good to have her back. Indeed, Ashley is a good egg and her investigations can benefit from the female perspective. Additionally, simply having fresh eyes on our research could prove useful. Speaking of, Larry and I think there's something weird going on in the apartments again. I told him that I'd bring you over tonight to check it out. Perfect. This will give me an opportunity to test out the new things I've been working on. Give me a few minutes to get ready. Sure. Let me know whenever you're ready to head out. Will do. <laughs> Sal, I'm sorry, dude. Please don't blame yourself. Sorry for what? What are you talking about? It's time for me to go. You better not be doing anything stupid. It's too late. I'll be gone soon. Stop messing around, Larry. This isn't funny. Hey. Larry. Larry? Pick up. Pick up the phone. Larry? You better pick up. Oh god, Larry. Oh god. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Actually, I'm gonna do suspense. I'm gonna end this episode here. Next episode, we'll see what happened with Larry. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys- uh, If you liked this video, hit like. If you wanna see more, subscribe. I'll see you guys next video, whatever I make. Stay beautiful, everyone. Bye!